Seven, capacitors. Part four, charging and discharging a capacitor. Charging a capacitor. Here is a circuit for charging this capacitor here. That's a battery. That's a resistor in a series of them, just to limit the current. It says here at first the voltage increases quickly. In other words, the voltage across the capacitor increases quickly, then slows down. And the graph is an exponential curve, which is that one there. VC is the voltage across the capacitor, T for time. Charging capacitor. Here is an accurate shape of the graph for charging up a capacitor. That's full voltage here. This tau here represents the time constant, which is the time for the voltage to increase by 63% of the voltage when fully charged. In other words, going from 0 to 63% of the full voltage. That's tau here. Discharging a capacitor, that's a circuit for it. Here you can see that the capacitor now is taking the place of a battery. Once that switch is closed, current will flow briefly until the capacitor is totally discharged. It says here at first the voltage decreases quickly and then slows down. And the graph is an exponential decay curve. Here is an accurately shaped graph for discharging a capacitor. And tau here is time constant, which represents the time for the voltage to decrease by 63%, which is there, going from there to there, 63%. And what's left is 37%. Some important points about time constant tau. For decay, the 63% voltage drop applies to a time interval of one time constant tau starting at any voltage value. So if we look at the sketch here, the 63% drop doesn't have to start from the full voltage. It could start anywhere, let's say from here. If we start from here, then up to one time constant tau, it will drop down by 63% from here, 63% will be about here, somewhere will be dropped down to here. And then starting from here again, another one time constant, it will drop down to 63% of what, the, what remains here, and so on. That's why the curve is exponential. And then we'll come back to here, second bullet point. Likewise, the 63% rise applies to the rise from any starting voltage too. doesn't have to start from zero to the full voltage. The time constant depends on the resistance in the circuit R and the capacitance in the circuit. And the formula is tau equal to RC, important formula to remember. We have this example here for illustration. This 100 microfarad capacitor is connected to 2 mega ohm resistor. This charges from 10 volts down to 3.7 volts. In other words, it dropped by 63%, and you had to find out the time constant. Very simple, you just use the formula to work out a time constant. And it's 200 seconds. Now, let's look at current during charging or discharging. Look at charging first. At any instant during charging, the voltage across the capacitor and the voltage across the resistor add to the voltage of the supply. In other words, Vs, which is the voltage of the supply, equal to resistor voltage plus capacitor voltage. And as Vc increases, then Vr must decrease because they add up to this fixed value, Vs. And using, using Ohm's law, V or IR, current must also decrease as Vr, which is the Voltage across the resistor, resistor decreases. Here is a graph showing how the current decreases during the charging process. And once again, we have this tau here, which shows the time taken for current to drop by 63%. Now let's look at what happens to the current 
during discharging. The circuit for discharging consists of only the resistor and the capacitor. So the voltage across the resistor is always equal to the voltage across the capacitor. V is equal to Vr. And as Vr voltage across resistor decreases, the current must also decrease. This is a graph showing how the current decreases with time during discharging. And it looks very similar to the one for charging.